and welcome back to another video i am so excited to be doing this video with you guys i have finally hit 1000 subscribers i can't express to you guys how thankful i am to each and every single one of you guys that has been following me on my journey and believes in me i just wanted to say that for the next video i will be announcing who the giveaway winner is of the apple airpods because i did hit 1000 subscribers so for one lucky subscriber you will be receiving a apple airpods so stay tuned for that as well as do an unboxing. So let's get down into business to see what I will be unboxing next. The unboxing is of Van Cleef and Arpels. As you guys can see, this is their bag. It has a green string as well as the Van Cleef and Arpels logo right here. This is what the box looks like. is the Van Cleef and Arpels 5 Motive Alhambra Malachite Stone Bracelet. This is what the bracelet looks like. This is the kind of packaging it comes in. This is the back. Like I said, this is Malachite Stone and I just want to get into a little bit of the details about this stone specifically. This stone is one of the most delicate stones that Van Cleef and Arpels makes. The reason being is the green malachite stone is very fragile in the sense that water is not to be anywhere close to the malachite stone because if you do get water droplets on the stone, it is possible that the stone can crack and discolor. So malachite is one of those stones that you do have to be very cautious when you're wearing it, when you're washing your hands. Make sure that you don't spray perfume on it or get water near it or anything along those lines. Compared to the other stones that Van Cleef and Arpels makes, for example, the Black Onyx one or the Agate or the Glioche, 
uh, those are more of the ones where I would say are easier to take care of and better for you to wear more of an everyday especially the glioche and the black onyx are one of the more popular uh, pieces if you are trying to get something where you wear every single day i would highly suggest you getting the black onyx one which i will put a picture for you guys to kind of see the difference between the stones or the glioche one that one is an 18 karat gold stone basically as the bracelet and again i will incorporate a picture for you guys to see as far as this malachite one, I do do truly love this one because of the rarity. It is very difficult for you to get your hands on it and I do know Van Cleef is asking for a deposit prior to you even you know, getting your hands on this piece. I know that the turnaround date quote is about three months, but that can obviously vary if they do get the piece in stock sooner or if there is like a manufacture delay or anything like that. So do keep that in mind when you are trying to purchase this. This is one of the pieces where if you walk inside the store and you ask to buy it, it's very unlikely for them to have it in stores. I have walked in and I have seen them have, for example, the pendant necklace or the earrings, but the bracelet is something that I genuinely haven't seen them have unless you know somebody bought it with a deposit and then realized that they didn't want it. One interesting thing about the bracelet is that the lines on the malachite stone go in different directions. For example, one might be going up as a U shape, the other one might be going as like um backwards you basically each clove has a different design on it and it's cool because on the opposite side of the bracelet it's a completely different design so you are able to wear it whichever way you want and it doesn't necessarily matter because the stone is the same on both sides and i will show you guys the opposite side just so you guys can get a better understanding of what i mean for example if i flip the bracelet which i just did this is what the opposite side is. And again, it's like the same exact thing, the same stone front and back. So there is no difference in that case. I also have a surprise that I will be sharing in a little, but I did want to get into the items that are also found. You do purchase something from Van Cleef. For this specific bracelet or for any of the necklaces or the earrings that come with the malachite stone, they also come with this malachite guide. And it says Van Cleef and Arpels over here. And then on the booklet, it says Malachite. So it does give you like a description of how you are supposed to take care of the piece. Get into the description of how much this piece actually is. This is what the receipt looks like. So the vintage Alhambra 5 motive bracelet, which is yellow gold, 18 karat and malachite it is a total of five thousand thirty nine dollars and forty four cents just like every single designer item that you buy from like cartier rolex and whatnot it does come with a certificate of authentication which is in here this is just like a booklet where the certificate goes here and then this book over here talks about servicing for your piece however this is what the certificate looks like um i'm just gonna cover these i'm hoping that they each piece is supposed to come with this authentication card so make sure that if you are buying it from a reseller you do make sure that indeed that it is real based off of this authentication and the way that you can do it is each piece comes with its own serial number and i would love to show you guys on this specific bracelet but it's so small on the bracelet on one of the motifs that you can barely read it so I would suggest maybe taking like a magnifying glass and putting it onto the bracelet and reading the serial number to make sure that it matches with the authentication card. My sales associate Maya knew that I had been looking for this bracelet for such a long time. So she finally found this bracelet for me when I was in town. Had a little surprise for me. She told me to come back into Van Cleef for a surprise and luckily I was able to meet the artist and designer of the Van Cleef murals that you can see if you go into one of the stores. I was so excited to meet this gentleman. He was so nice and actually went out of his way to draw me a customized piece, so I was so excited. His name is Alexander Benjamin Nevet. For those of you guys that are not familiar with him, I will include his information and his Instagram down below in the description. He signed it, Madame Daniela. And I did meet him in Vegas. Is what he drew me. 
and everything that he does is done with the color pencil and it's so interesting because all of the murals at Van Cleef are also done with the color pencil and then they're printed and then they're placed on the walls of Van Cleef. So it is very interesting that his whole entire idea of an artist is based off of color pencils. One thing that I did want to mention is this is not sized to my wrist yet. It does come with the links obviously all attached. However, if you do have a small wrist like I do, you can get it sized. From what I know, the turnaround time is probably a month, maybe earlier, depending on how backed up they are given it is still COVID. I would suggest that you take it into Van Cleef and Arpels and have them adjust the size. From what I remember, they'll give you like a chain link thing that you wear and that way you can adjust the size and tell them if you want it to be a little bit bigger or smaller. Then they'll send this out to, I believe, New York and then you'll receive it perfectly sized to your hand, which is convenient because like I will show you how it sits on my hand. It is pretty big and like I said, I haven't sized this yet. This is what it looks like with it next to my watch. As you guys can see, it's kind of big on me because it's dangling here. And when I go like this, it gets stuck underneath my watch and kind of disappears. So the watch does still give it an opportunity for it to not dangle on my wrist, which is worse. And what I mean by that, I will show you. This is what ends up happening to it. It gets loose and goes straight up on my wrist and the chances of something happening to it, getting tugged on something or breaking is very easy because it is on my wrist. So like I said, I would highly suggest you guys get this sized. To your wrist right now it's not that big of a deal because of my watch it's like saving it from getting tugged onto anything but eventually i am gonna make it smaller just so this isn't like dangling and it's tighter on my wrist but here you go once again, I wanted to say thank you so much to the 1,000 subscribers that have gone ahead and subscribed to my channel. It's such an uplifting feeling knowing that you guys truly do believe in me and are following me on this journey of me giving you guys the best advice on something that you should buy or something that you should stay away from just so you save your money. So once again, I wanted to say thank you so much. I truly love and adore you guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to DM me. I am so open and ready to answer any questions that you guys may have of any designer piece if i personally don't have it i will ask someone that does have it and give you guys an honest opinion of what they think with that said thank you so much again for tuning into my channel i hope you guys enjoyed my video of the malachi five motive alhambra brace from bank leaf and arpels don't forget to hit that thumbs up button comment down below on if you guys want to see anything in specific and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content shamili out a million, 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 a